So I got married four years ago and my mother-in-law was working for an organization that was heavily involved in education policy. And she asked me to do uh, some work for her, a few hours. I think she was testing me to see if I was capable. Turns out I was. And she gave me a bunch of reading to do on uh, the history of education, education policy, and how we got where we are today. So the first book was Crimes of the Educators by Sam Blumenfeld and Alex Newman. I honestly didn't believe half of what I read in that book until I went and fact-checked it myself. Because when I first started, it sounded like a conspiracy theory, all this stuff. And I'm like, how did I not know any of this? The U.S. government has no authority to have any role in education. Any power is not delegated to the U.S. government or reserved for the states or for the people. On that basis alone, it ought to be shut down immediately. Most politicians, they look at the budgets, they look at the teachers' unions, they don't look at the curriculums. It's too hard, they decided, to bring the lowest performing kids up because some of those kids don't want to learn. Some of those schools are in bad neighborhoods. So why don't we just have one kind of education that every kid can achieve and then call it equity. Equity is a nice sounding word, but it doesn't mean the same as equal opportunity. It's about outcomes. It's about trying to force us all to be equal. If critical race theory is continued to be taught in American schools, I think we're gonna have a race civil war in our hands. Public school is the instituted agency of socialism throughout every state and throughout every community. They're coming out of school thinking communism and Marxism is cool. So we're gonna lose our very republic if we don't stop this indoctrination of children in government schools. Do we want our students in this country not to know the truth? What happened to us in China can't happen here. The people can't read and write, don't know their history. They're easily manipulated by unsavory politicians. Students will continue to see people like Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez as these leaders. We are exposing kids to pornography as early as kindergarten, and they're calling it puberty talk. So someone like me, I think, oh, okay, they're gonna talk about puberty. Parents just don't know. It makes me angry. It makes me furious that parents will put up with this. I did it. We showed up. Oh, you got Mrs. Jones. Oh, I heard Mrs. Jones is a really good teacher. And we're just like, yeah, that's great, because everybody else is doing it. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Parents need to wake up. They don't have your interests at heart. They don't have the interests of your child at heart.